Hello YouTube, this is my lightning faith dex build that I use. Hello YouTube, the Grafted Shamrock here, bringing you a video about my current lightning build. Hello guys, as I said, this is a lightning build in new game plus, but it can easily be changed to a late game build. So I'll show you what you need to make the build. So for starters, you're going to need two gravel stone seals at any level, and then you can level them up on your own. But uh, just if you're not a new game plus, you can easily swap it out with your trio seal. I used that seal for a while, so until I got new game plus, and then I swapped it out for an, a second gravel stone steel, seal, because it boosts dragon cult incantations. That also goes for the lightning incantations. I'm more than positive. But a weapon that I never really see used is actually the dragon's crag stone blade crag blade uh, I don't see it get used much I see a lot more people use the Grisinus axe blade yeah the bolt of Grisax Grisinus axe or something like that a lot of more people would use the bolt with its ancient lightning but I actually prefer this one because you already have a lot of that with the build I'm about to use but I actually think it's handier because you turn into a cloud and you stun them so it doesn't stun bosses but a lot of like normal enemies as they're in the cloud and you slam down you will end up stunning them in the process and I'll go show you that on this enemy here I'll go up I'll attack him okay that wasn't a good example I'll show you on this guy so I'll go in I'll go in and as you can see there he got stunned while he was in the red cloud I might show it on str this guy right here. So when I attack him, see, he gets stunned. Now I miss the attack there, which is the one annoying thing. It can sometimes glitch out and miss, but but then uh, you have two gravel stone steels. Any armor is good, really. I kind of just use this armor because it looks drippy, I guess. But anyone that kind of just gives you high poise, really, because you don't want to get knocked off. Then the talismans you really want to use would be like Flox Canvas Talisman and then Fateful Canvas Talisman, but then also the Lightning Scorpion Charm to boost your incantations and raise lightning attacks. And you can swap the last one out if you want. I use Shard of Alexander to boost the damage of this uh, attack on the, I, I don't know, sword to boost it because... It's a very good ability, especially against weaker enemies compared to yourself. And then the Flask of Wondrous Physics, I'd use the Lightning Shrouded Crack tier. But I'd also use the Leaden Hard tier, so my poise gets boosted. This is the first incantation, Lightning Spear. It's in every Lightning build. It's the bread and butter of the incantations. And you'll use that one the most with its whopping 1800. Now I will say it loses 200 damage when you don't have the second one. And the reason why I recommend using the Ur Tree is because the incantation scaling goes up by a lot. So you kind of regain some of that missed out damage. But you won't uh, be doing as much, you know. You do need both the gravel seals to be doing the maximum amount of damage on all of these. It isn't a must have, but I would really recommend it because a lot of people like to use another spell. It's similar to this, but it's yellow lightning. This is frozen lightning. And what it essentially does, as you can see, it strikes down, but it gets like a very good area. So it's good at like killing loads and loads of enemies. But what it's also really good at would probably be if an enemy resists lightning damage, uh, this also does like freeze damage or frozen damage or frostbite. I f forget what it's called, but uh, it can also deal that kind of damage. So you'll end up spamming it a lot more than you think you would as a as a incantation. So when the next incantation would be Lysinosax's Glaive, because when you get real up close and personal to an enemy. You're looking at like 2,000 damage up close, and that was perfect. 1,176 damage with its little afterwave. 
you'll end up using that like a lot if enemies are piling up on top of you that's when you'd probably use that the most this is the next incantation ancient dragon lightning strike this is the most powerful spell in the game in my opinion i don't think there's any spells that are better than this the bigger the boss the more damage you're gonna do like this shreds the fire giant the first time i was using like a strength build against the fire giant i used this lightning build in new game plus shredded him right because i found out about lightning magic off one of my friends he told me so i tried it out because he said it was broken and it really is now i can't use this lightning spell because it will not hit this guy because it's the most inaccurate spell ever see it it phased through him it doesn't work on normal enemies now i'm just going to demonstrate how broken the ancient dragon lightning strike is against this godskin boss up here now i will definitely recommend an ash of war with this whether that be mimic or any of these but it's just really handy also golden vow forgot to mention that definitely golden vow goes with everything drink your craft here get that poise see he's distracted right now he's running away this is really annoying max charge it see that's one just did 5,000 damage in one single attack. And now I just, as I said, I hit two single bolts at the end there. And that's the kind of power you're looking at with this build. I can't summon a Nash here to help, so I'm going to have to do this on my own. I use Golden Vow, drink my tear. I'm going to pull out the Ancient Dragon. And I'm going to run up to this mob, right? Doesn't see me coming. It's a big one now. And it breaks my poise immediately. Once again, coming back to the poise, I'm getting my ass kicked. And I'm going to have to retake this. So to finish up on this quick little short video, this is my build. These are the stats. You can pause the video if you want to look at them. Uh, they're all pretty well rounded. I use the Godric Great Rune. And... Uh, this sword, I just really like it, and I would love to see it get more respect, because I never see anyone use this. Uh, someone can tell me I'm wrong, but I just love to see more builds with this weapon in it, mainly. Because these incantations, they're pretty basic, they're in everyone. I expect, like, all of these are in every build. I just don't use too many, because I'm heavy focused on this. I would use this a lot. Uh, stunning enemies as I said with the cloud and then coming down with the final bit of damage uh, this is an all around really fun build I wouldn't say it's like really good at PvP I'd say it's more PvE based build but I'd really really like this build uh, give a like a sub my first video so tell me I did in the comments